Yo guys and welcome back to this new video here on the channel. On today's video we will be specifically talking about the Ethereum price action and we can still see a potential breakout here within the coming 10 days of this daily symmetrical triangle that's currently getting created here. As well we will be going into the 4 hourly time frame where Ethereum is right now as well showing us signs that it is forming a symmetrical triangle. We will be also going into the one hourly time frame where we can be potentially see a breakout here in the coming 10 hours. And of course, later today, we will be streaming and of course, looking at this potential breakout. As well, guys, we will be talking about the daily Mac the daily MACD crossover here for the uh, price section of Ethereum as well here. Currently forming a bearish crossover once again here with a lower high. So this can be, of course, potentially signifying that we're going to see some more downwards pressure coming in towards the market. As well, guys, we will be talking about the Ethereum compared to Bitcoin valuation. In this chart, of course, we can be seeing that, Bitcoin, uh, that Ethereum compared to Bitcoin is right now breaking below the key level of support. So we will be looking and reevaluating what we can be potentially doing right now here. So guys... If this sounds interesting for you, make sure to right away smash up the likes here. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well here because we are doing this every single day here. And without further ado, let's go right away into the video. So guys, what have we been looking at for Ethereum? We have been looking at several days at Ethereum. Uh, first, potentially at an ascending triangle. But I would like to uh, draw this, uh, yeah, some more like a descending, uh, uh, some more like a descending downward slope resistance line here. And of course, right now it forms a symmetrical triangle. And you can see also clear upward slope support is getting created here. But only we are currently seeing a breakdown from the point that we're trading on. So yeah, this can be, of course, potentially lead to a breakdown. But of course, if we are willing to see a breakdown, guys, we have to be seeing some uh, more signals of confirmation. So the first confirmation that we have to be waiting for is the daily candle close here. And guys, we still have another 16 hours in this daily candle. So we can be potentially even going to go higher. But of course, I'm uploading this video for you guys to raise the awareness. If we are going to close the daily candle below the 2460 US dollars, we of course are confirming a breakdown here. And if we're going to do so, guys, I would like to see the volume coming in here. Because there, if there is no volume coming in towards this chart here, of course, this is not giving us a significance breakout and i will be of course looking for a potential fake out and uh, we can be potentially still go towards higher targets here so yeah it's very important to look at this and of course if we're going to break out guys this will be here in the coming 10 days here and usually guys once we're seeing these uh these patterns uh, getting created here we tend to break up before hitting the apex so yeah i would really say here that we will be probably seeing a breakout within the coming 10 days there and in order to break out towards the upside, I do want to be seeing a breakthrough around the 2850 US dollars towards the 2900 US dollars. Uh, if we're going to look for a breakout, guys, this can be, of course, a quite exciting one here. Uh, we will be definitely monitoring the charts here along the way here, but currently we are still having this, uh, yeah, we are still trading below the uh, support line here. And I would highly love to see, of course, a weekend and create. And I definitely think it's possible because we still have another 16 hours in this chart there. But, guys, we can be potentially look for 30% surge towards the upside. And if we're going to break down here, this can be also a 33% move towards the downside. So, yeah, general speaking, there will be a lot of volatility coming towards the market. And, of course, that can be probably, yeah, really give us very good, uh, yeah, very good opportunities here to trade the market either towards the upside or towards the downside. And, guys, as well... And then I will be quickly looking for Ethereum to the four hourly candles because on the four hourly candles, guys, we are clearly forming a new downward slope resistance line with as well a new upward slope support line with already several touch points on it. So yeah, since seeing it, of course, uh, you can see this blue box over here, top side as well, providing resistance and support. Uh, well, we were getting rejected by this level yesterday. Uh, we're right now finding support on the upward slope support line. This can be potentially as well consolidate a little bit further. And of course, if this is going to consolidate a little bit further, guys, we will be definitely keeping you guys up to date. The right now we are still at pretty early stages because we're only having two touch points on the top side and three touch points on the lower side but this can as well potentially once again uh, create a lot of volatility uh, towards the upside of course if we are going to break through the top side of this line over here i can already look at the potential as well breakout here on this top side um of the daily candles here on the ethereum pair so this looks of course pretty exciting and we will be definitely keeping our eyes out here on this uh, pacific um yeah symmetrical triangle here but this one can really potentially take another as well eight days here before really seeing a breakout here so yeah um things can get boring of course for the couple of days here we can be probably see a lot of sideways action here before really seeing an insane move getting created here but of course we are seeing potentially uh, these moves getting traded of over 30 percent and that is of course a very good metrics to of course make very good gains here so uh, yeah can't wait to see which direction we'll be breaking towards of course for now on as well here on this for early candle guys we are seeing a very massive de decrease in valuation um i would like to uh, i would like to see of course an increase coming in here but the 2400 US dollars is the level that we right now have to hold on here because yeah once again if we can't of course if we can't hold this uh, this for early candle within this supportive line here we can be potentially look for a breakdown here uh, but right now because we are 
are so early in state because we are so early in the symmetrical triangle i don't think we will be reaching significant price targets but we will be for sure dropping towards the blue box here around the 2200 uh, us dollars so that's of course very important to know here guys and as well, a thing that I want to be saying here before going further into the charts, guys, uh, later today I will be doing another live stream here in approximately one to two hours after this video is live here. Guys, I will be planning another stream for you guys in here. So you can be, of course, already ringing the bell notification to the channel here if you're not willing to miss it out here. And of course, in the stream, we will be discussing all the price section for Ethereum, for Bitcoin whatsoever. So as well guys uh potentially we can be right now look as well for an insane trade here on the ethereum compared to us dollar par uh, pair on the one hour and this is of course quite exciting because as you can see here on the one and only time frame we have been forming a clear downward slope resistance line here uh, several touch points and as well uh, three touch points on the supportive line here so this shows us a clear clear um yeah pattern right now unfolding on the ethereum compared to US dollar chart on the one hour candle and you can see once again that we're right now as well trading on support so yeah, I would certainly like to see a breakout towards the upside. But of course, if we're not going to hold on towards the 2424 US dollars, we will be for sure seeing a breakdown. We just printed a new one only candle. Have to wait to see where the next one only candle is going to go towards. But definitely, guys, we can be seeing some volatility getting created on this one as well here. And of course, potentially, we can be seeing price targets around the... Uh, let me quickly measure this up for you guys. Uh, we can be seeing potential price targets around the 2800 US dollars or around the uh, 2100 US dollars. So this will be, of course, quite exciting. It will be, of course, as, as well signifying some more uh, so it will be signifying as some more volatility into market so yeah it looks pretty exciting here uh we are for sure on the one early right now in the downtrend uh the rsi is look to be uh, almost bottoming out over here so yeah if we're going to go lower we will be, we will be still potentially as well forming the bullish divergence so this is of course quite exciting um but yeah definitely we'll be keeping my eyes out on the channel here and as well in the live stream guys what we're going to do later today we will be discussing which direction we're going to break towards and of course what we can be of course doing with this breakout and Guys, then as well, we are seeing, of course, on the ETM compared to uh, use dollar chart on the daily candles, a very significant move here on the MACD playing out here. Of course, I think the MACD is a very important indicator to look at because the MACD is, of course, a momentum indicator and it signifies uh, whether we're going to see a move towards the upside or towards the downside getting created here. And uh, currently, of course, the, da the daily... Uh, the daily EMA, of course, uh, is also flip red here since three days ago here. And as well, guys, uh, we have been seeing a bullish crossover on the uh, pair of Ethereum compared to US dollar on the daily. But right now, you can see here clear lower uh, lower high getting created, clear lower low structure getting created. And as well, we're currently having a bearish crossover on the MACD. This is, of course, flag flagging for me currently, red flags here. Um, the other charts are looking pretty okay here, but the MACD, the momentum indicator, is right now giving me red flags for uh, Ethereum. I just want to be raising the awareness that we are seeing this, of course. I'm not necessarily bearish on the market. I'm not necessarily bearish on uh, Ethereum because I purely feel extremely bullish on Bitcoin. And, of course, in the end of the day, if Bitcoin is going to increase, it will be, of course, really helping Ethereum as well to, uh, to push towards the upside. So, yeah, it looks pretty exciting here. But, yeah, this can be potentially, of course, give some more downward pressure in towards the market. And, guys, talking about Bitcoin, guys. And the reason as well why I'm, of course, currently pretty bullish on the market here is because this stock-to-flow model here. People um, don't really look towards the stock-to-flow model, but I think it's a very accurate one here. And I do think you really want to be looking at this one because, guys, you can clearly see over here um, that, of course, previously, once we were sitting on the 60K towards uh, 50 towards 60K here, we were pretty overvalued here for Bitcoin. We were trading above the stock-to-flow model. But if you look to previous bull runs as well here, we always were trading below it. And in the end stages, we uh, were, of course, uh, yeah, boosting above it. And and of course, the end stage is guys we are not even close by there uh, i don't think that we are even uh, close towards the top of the bull run always the, the light green is of course the top of the bull run as well the top of the cycle um because that is of course signifying that we are um at the halfway point towards the next uh, level of the side uh, of the, the whole thing but guys you can see we're clearly trading below the stock to flow um yeah, level of the, the 365 day average. We're clearly trading below it. So this is as well signifying that Bitcoin is undervalued rather than overvalued. So yeah, I mean, I should definitely not hesitate to accumulate something around these levels, guys. We are sitting at pretty che cheap stages here. You can really decide what to do yourself here. But I mean, once looking into the charts, once again, guys, have been discussing the stock to flow model several times on the channel. But this is definitely times that you want to be, of course, holding and of course, accumulating more and more crypto. So as well guys let me right now talk a little bit about ethereum compared to bitcoin because yeah we just discussed that bitcoin is a little bit undervalued but what are we seeing for the ethereum compared to bitcoin valuation guys because on this valuation on this chart you can clearly see uh, that we have been forming a very significant upward sloping support line here on the daily candles, as you can see over here. Uh, this is, of course, a very important line that we were holding on here. And right now, since uh, two days ago, guys, we broke below this, uh, yeah, 
this uh, this uh, upper slope support line and it's pretty unfortunate to see here because this is a very important trend that I would have loved to uh, to hold here because right now of course I don't know if you already know it already but guys the Ethereum compared to Bitcoin chart here uh, as you can see over here signifies how how strength Ether, how much strength ethereum has compared to uh, compared to bitcoin and how much the, how much the valuation is here compared to bitcoin as well here so yeah currently of course it's breaking below the key uh, yeah level of uh, uh, support the key uh, yeah upper slope support line this is pretty important to see here i do think that we can be potentially go towards targets around the 0.6% here and this can be of course another drop off here for maybe another 10% here compared to bitcoin so yeah that can be of course quite unfortunate to see here but the main reason why we are seeing this of course here is that Bitcoin is increasing in valuation and Ethereum is not. And that is, of course, the main reason why we are right now seeing the decreasement in the Ethereum compared to Bitcoin pair coming in here. Um, it's pretty unfortunate to see here. Let's see if we can be maybe re enter this one. As well, if we're looking to the four hourly candles, guys, we were looking for as well an upward sloping uh, support line getting created over here. This one already was getting broken over here, so that was pretty unfortunate as well to see here. But of course, a, br a break of such a supportive line here on the four hour doesn't really matter. But if you're seeing one on the daily, it can of course maybe signify that we can be seeing some kind of a different trend getting started. But in general, guys, uh, as well, we have been setting a lower high structure here, and this can be as well uh, potentially create a lot of resistance in the future. But general speaking, yeah, we are still setting higher lows here as well at the point that we're right now trading on still in higher low. So yeah, the trend can be of course still valid here, but it is pretty important that we are seeing this breakdown. And my next target is personally sitting around to six percent here over Bitcoin. So guys, these are my quick thoughts about Ethereum. Hopefully you love them here. Hopefully you're going to enjoy these predictions, and hopefully you will be benefiting from yourself as well here, guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because this wasn't already it for the video. Literally in one to one to two hours here from now on, we will be doing another stream on the channel as well here. So if you are not subscribed to the channel yet here and if you have not smashed up the likes yet here make sure to do so right now here guys it was an amazing stream here and i will check you guys in the next video here on the channel goodbye